Nestled within the heart of Malawi, a hidden gem awaits discovery. Manchewe Falls, the highest waterfall in the country, stands as a testament to nature's grandeur. Our journey begins in a small picturesque village in rural northern Malawi, where Yewo, a purpose-driven brand, creates timeless jewelry and functional home goods. For every Yewo product sold, a tree is planted through a women's reforestation co-op, making every purchase a step towards a greener future. Our sustainable journey continues high above the breathtaking shores of Lake Malawi, where the mushroom farm Ecologe offers visitors a sanctuary of nature's beauty. As we delve into the world of sustainable tourism, it becomes clear that green tourism is not just about exploring our beautiful landscapes, it's about protecting them. Our journey today emphasizes the importance of informing people about crucial aspects of conservation, such as wildlife preservation and the pressing issue of climate change. Equally significant is the promotion of renewable energy sources as a means to reduce our environmental footprint. But our responsibility goes even further. We must work tirelessly to curb deforestation, preserve the lush canopies of our forests, and in doing so, protect our invaluable natural resources for generations to come. I think the first thing for us is to connect issues of tourism and also uh, environment. So as a ministry, Ministry of Tourism, we are also uh, mandated to look at issues of wildlife, uh, wetlands and all of that. Just like this year, we are commemorating Wetlands Day, uh, environment, environment Day and Rangers Day together. One of the key issues that was coming out was the importance of wetlands and the environment to the socioeconomic uh, development of the people. And so as a, as a ministry, we are promoting conservation uh, through our protected areas, but not, not only through our protected areas, we are also ensuring that people are, are taking personal responsibility in terms of uh, preserving uh, the environment, but taking care of uh, nature, but also being sensitive to issues of climate change. As a government, we are also promoting uh, renewable energy, where we have planted a number of uh, solar um, uh, farms, where we want to ensure that we are promoting the use of uh, renewable energy. Uh, people need to uh, ensure that uh, they are also uh, using gas, for example, even for their homes. One of the key issues that we have noted as a government is that even among the elite, those people that are supposed to know, the issues of renewable energy are not very common and they are not, uh, people are also are, are, are used to the conventional way of doing things. If it's not electricity, then it's charcoal. So we are trying to ensure that when we're talking about sensitizing the general population, we are targeting everybody because it is both ways. People that are supposed to know, they don't know or they know, but they're not doing it. People that don't know, they don't know. So we also need to ensure that we are promoting and giving them the information that is needed. It's more than just traveling from one place to another. Tourism is a journey of discovery, a global tapestry woven by countless threads of adventure and exploration. Tourism connects people from all corners of the earth. It bridges gaps in understanding and fosters a sense of unity in our diverse world. Through tourism, we learn that we are more alike than different. So, what is tourism? It's the essence of adventure the bond of humanity and the promise of tomorrow. It's the world inviting you to be a part of its incredible story. The journey goes beyond individuals. It's deeply ingrained in the local culture. Here, the chief of the village shares his wisdom. Komaso, 
chivuka cha cha kubwera kwa alendo ifesi tikupindura chifuka akuti gula zoli mazathu ndi tikupindura tukhala ndi drama zochekera kwa alendo amena mabwera kuzacheza conservation partnerships with both the private and public sectors are vital elements in the collective effort to preserve our environment these alliances contribute significantly to our ability to safeguard the natural world we cherish. Furthermore, the ecologies scattered throughout our region play a pivotal role in our community. They not only offer unparalleled nature's experiences, but also provide a diverse array of employment opportunities for our local population, supporting sustainable livelihoods. On World Tourism Day, we join a green walk to raise awareness about sustainable tourism and protecting our natural world. And here, welcome to Manchewe Falls, the ecotourism jewel, where we explore the stunning natural beauty and eco investments surrounding Malawi's highest waterfall. It is surrounded by lush rainforest on the edge of the Nika Plateau escarpment. On this special occasion of World Tourism Day, we are about to witness that Manjewe Falls is more than just a breathtaking natural wonder. It stands as a symbol, a symbol of the pressing need for ecotourism and green investments. To delve deeper into this profound message, let's hear from Kobe in an enlightening interview. The theme for this year is tourism and green investment. So if you look at my background, there are a lot of trees which means conservation and environmental conservation is highly recommended in this area. As part of green investment and environmental conservation, our company is Adventures of Kobe. We're doing a lot where we're involving the environment as well as the community surrounding different attraction sites. So we work directly with a mushroom farm, Yeo, and other places which are closer to this material waterfall. As a community, we also bring a different concept whereby we are working for an organization, GIZ, which is GIZ Corporation. We are building a community campsites, maintaining the environment surrounding the campsite, campsite with different infrastructures such as community guest house, uh, community camping site, community shelter camping site, uh, as well as public place and other facilities. So. As a company, we look forward to you visiting Malawi under the green investment tourism, visiting different attraction sites which are practicing the green investment, involvement of the community, involvement conversation, and other practices that are involved in the green investment. Our next stop is Msasa Eco, where local entrepreneur Msasa shares her vision for conservation and the community. Msasa Eko, as we're about to discover, is an embodiment of dedication to conservation, a champion in the field of training local guides, and a shining example of making a positive impact on the environment. In the interview that follows, we delve into the core principles and initiatives of Msasa Eko, where their commitment to nature and community shines brightly. Msasa comes from Chichewa Wed. Um, Sasa, which means uh, a temporary camp, and it's also a name of a tree which is also available here at Msasa Livingston. The aims of Msasa is one, we want to provide a very good solution to the community. We want to start a, a tourism company that will impact positively to the community. Like we, it's more like responsible tourism whereby we actually invest in the community as well. Like people from the community must have must gain from the investment that we are, we are putting here. So as a tourism company, we're helping the community as well to like doing projects that will actually uh, positively impact the community. For example, we, we want to do tree planting and rehabilitate the soil around here and also make sure that uh, people get uh, employment. Like we want to challenge that uh, we, tourism can provide for the whole community. Mushroom Farm Eco Lodge is perched on a cliff overlooking Lake Malawi, offering visitors 
a unique experience with nature. The Mushroom Farm Eco Lodge is more than just a place to stay. It's a commitment to a holistic approach. Their eco-business activities are intricately woven into the fabric of the local community, resulting in a profound connection that supports ecotourism and green investments. In the upcoming interview, we hear directly from the lodge manager, who sheds light on the remarkable story of the Mushroom Farm Eco Lodge and its significant contribution to sustainability. Mushroom Farm uh, meets some sustainability goals in regards to trying to be uh, net zero, carbon net zero. Uh, we try to source all of our food from within 25 kilometers that we serve in the restaurant. Um, that means on one hand, we're reducing the carbon footprint of the food which we serve. Uh, on the other hand, it also means that we're supporting local farmers uh, by buying their produce, by assisting them uh, with a regular income. And then uh, more than that, I think that we can look to the number of community members who have been involved because of Mushroom Farm in regards to guiding guests to Manchewe Falls, guiding guests to other tourism uh, points of interest like Chombe Plateau. Uh, we see the ripple effects of guests coming here and enjoying the tourism of Malawi and throughout the community. Yewo, a brand with a profound vision, understands the immense potential held within the consumer market. Their belief in the power of consumers to effect positive change is at the core of their mission. Yewo's journey towards making the world a better, more equitable place is embodied in the products we choose to incorporate into our daily lives. Yewo's success and aspirations are intertwined with the local community where positive change is happening. Yewo's commitment to empowering communities through sustainable products is a testament to the positive change that can be achieved step at a time. We created a social enterprise where we offer employment. Looking at the way people live in the village, sometimes you find that they are the youth that are school dropouts, they married and uh, they don't know what to do. They just stay in. So we thought it's a good idea to create uh, an employment for them and also add to it a skill that they are learning. That is uh, jewelry making. We train them different designs and uh, this is also helping them to find a little something and also help their families. Uh, while we're doing that, we also have, uh, we contribute to the community, that is uh, to have a sustainable tourism. We provide trainings uh, because as we make our jewelry, we also sell it. So there are processes that we use in selling this, that is they are trained in computers, they're trained in uh, making the jewelry designs. They're also trained in uh, uh, different types of training that they should know how to work, communicate on uh, social media. Green tourism is a type of tourism that focuses on minimizing the negative impact of tourism on the environment and promoting environmentally friendly and socially responsible travel practices. The goal is to protect natural and cultural resources while providing travelers with enjoyable and meaningful experiences. World Tourism Day, with its dedicated theme of green tourism, presented a compelling agenda. Among the myriad activities, the Green Walk took center stage, a collective effort aimed at heightening public awareness. What is green tourism? It's a journey that treads lightly on our planet, a celebration of eco-conscious travel. Green tourism embraces sustainability, connecting travelers with the beauty of nature while preserving it for generations to come. Green tourism is not just a journey, it's a promise to protect our planet as we explore it. Will you choose the path of sustainability? There are many Malawian tourism businesses that are blossoming to do green tourism which have minimal impact on the environment.
This year, the message resonated with the importance of ecotourism, fostering green investments in the realm of tourism, and the urgent need to curb deforestation and combat plastic pollution. The Green Walk culminated in a vibrant gathering at Spring Park, where the atmosphere came alive with cultural dances, mesmerizing drama performances, the melodies of musical artists, captivating fashion shows, and insightful speeches. It was a celebration of sustainable tourism and a call to action for a more responsible and eco-conscious future.